Peggy, I wanted to show you a project I did. It's um, the rosette ornaments. I want to thank um, Bona from Live, Love, a Scrap and also Lise, Elise, um, Lisey46 for the inspiration on doing them and Bona for the tutorial. Um, this is one of the paper pads that I use, Elizabeth Brown um, specialty paper by Kay and Company. And also I finished using all of the Martha Stewart pad that I've had for many years but I finally used the very last sheet of it on these rosettes. Also, I used this die, which is a Sizzix Vintage Doily die. I used the Sizzix Doily Lace die. The Dynamics um, from My Favorite Things. Um, Sorry, I don't know the name of this one, but it's a it's a my favorite things die. And then this is um, from Cherryland Designs. It's the French pastry um, doily die. Here are some of the ones that I need. On this one, I use the Sussex die. Or, I'm sorry, this is a different die. I can't think. Lifestyle Crafts, I believe. And um, all the images I use are Pure Innocence images from um, Heather Ellis. She has an Etsy store. She has another um, online store. And she also has, um, you know, she sells the stamps from my favorite things. But these are some of her digital images. And this is the... Um, the Girl Caroler. On this one, I used a Fiskars punch on the edge of this one. I used some glitter. I used my uh, Spectrum Noir markers to um, color all the images. Here's a boy Caroler, and I used the paste French pastry dye in a Martha Stewart, or I'm sorry, Stamp It Up um, scallop border punch to do the edge of this. On some of them I did do a larger circle in order to write a, um, a note on the back. This is basically the same. Um, the only difference in this one is the doily I used in the background. One more of the boy and this is just a, another Sizzix doily die. Same um, punch is used on the edge. This is another one that I made. Um, I used my favorite thing, or no, this is a Sizzix die. Um, I believe it's the treading water punch. It's got the little circles and the scallops. And this is another um, image at the Heather Ellis shop. And here's Another um, ornament I made, and with this one I used a lot of glitter and my favorite things um, center here, and then the um, I, be I believe it's um, it's an apron Fiskars punch border punch, and here's one more. Um, this one similar to the other ones except I used a Sizzix die to um, to punch that or to um, die cut this. I used some glitter um, treading water punch again around the edges. I wanted to show you how, kind of how I packaged them. I had a few that were ready for some teachers and um, this is a different one that I did not show you already and this is the, um, the teacher. Um, um, my son has a male teacher and my embossing didn't turn out really well, but um, anyway, this is the one I made for his teacher because I thought he was cute and um, I thought he might like him. Here's one for one of the female teachers. Um, this is um, an another one with the um, caroling lady, caroling part, um, pure innocence, and I just 
this is from the dollar store. It's just glued underneath. And this was a Martha Stewart um, lace punch. I have one more. Um, she doesn't match the packaging as well, but um, she, his other teacher had blonde hair. So I wanted to do this one in blonde hair. And um, hopefully the teachers will like their gifts. And thank you again, Bona and Elise, for the inspiration. Have a great day. God bless.